When installing the dual shear shade, you want to check your bracket just like you would any other product. You have the spring loaded end in the front and the hook in the back. Now the nice thing about these is you give you a little flexibility. When you're installing it, if you look, there's a bevel in the front. That allows you to be able to hook it in the back and then press down and lock it in. Now you have to use a lot of force for that, so I still recommend the scoop in the front, compress, and set. The other thing to be very, very aware of because of the nature of this product and being two pieces of fabric is that your window is square and level. If you do not level your window first or level your brackets first, when you install this, they will shift causing wrinkling, rippling, or misalignment. Installing your brackets, you want to move two inches in from the outer edge and either set all the way back or set forward to do a flush mount. Next, like I said, I like to hook the front first, press back and roll. Make sure your hands are clean. If you're drilling into drywall or aluminum, go wash your hands first. You do not want to get anything on the face of this fabric. It's hard to get it out. You want to adjust your left and right, make sure it's centered and out. Something to consider when you're installing this or advising your client is because of the delicate nature of the material itself, you may get static build at as the season change or from shipping. Something to advise would be a static guard spray to reduce the static buildup between the fabric layers. Another thing to consider to reduce wrinkling or uh, waviness in the fabric would be to make sure that the fabric is lining up properly left to right. This manufacturer gives an adjustment on that because things shift in shipping where you can go behind the shade at the very top and grab the spline there and shift it left to right to line up the front and back fabrics. The last thing to consider is when you are ordering these and you have multiple windows in the same room side by side, take the smallest measurement for an inside mount and order them all at that height. That will allow them to line up each slat so you have a continuous line across the room. Additionally, allows it to confirm that the height of the shade is going to sit properly in the closed position just above the sill.